like, it rippled in the middle. Alright, regardless, sorry. Here we go. Place I had to bring the... I brought a new cat home on Thanksgiving Day. So there is the non-hit pack uh, code cards. Uh, I brought a new cat home, a stray cat, on Thanksgiving Day, which if anybody knows me, like, I'm not a cat person at all. But this cat just, like, connected with me. It was just following me everywhere, and it's, like, the sweetest cat ever. So I brought this cat home and named it Giblets uh, because, you know, Thanksgiving Day, right? I knew it had to be Thanksgiving-themed name. And, uh, but the cat is so friendly that, like, while the contractors were framing... Why did I just do that? While the con... Because I'm telling a story, that's why I can't do any... I can't chew bubblegum and walk at the same time. Uh, while the contractors were framing out where they're going to pour the concrete, the cat was, like, all over, you know, just kind of bothering them. Rubbing up on them and trying to just love on them and stuff like that, because that's how friendly she is. Uh, so we were worried that when they were pouring the concrete, she would just walk into it, you know... Um, so, anyways, I had to bring the cat in with me, so the cat's in the office right now, but the crazy thing is, guys, I've got a dog bed in here for Minnie, our dog, because sometimes she has to come out to work with me, and she just went over to the dog's bed and laid down. Now, she was, like, crawling around on my desk and stuff for a little while, but then she just got in the dog's bed and laid down, and she's been napping ever since. Like, I think I might have brought home the best cat in the world. It's crazy. I'm still surprised the only celebration ZTB I ever opened, I pulled the Charizard. Okay. Jeffrey. Can someone ban him, please? Can someone just get him. Someone just escort him out of the building, okay? Perma ban. Don't ever let him come back. Find out who his friends are. Ban them too, okay? Because I've opened like 200 packs of celebrations, and I have not gotten the, cel I have not gotten the celebrations Charizard yet. Listen to me, I'm sitting here talking about pull rates and I want things to be hard to get. And then I'm complaining about not getting the Charizard from Celebrations. But! <laughs> Alright, last pack here for you, Spuds. Where's Spuds' luck? He does have another order in, but if I don't pull him fire, he's probably never going to buy anything from our website again. So it better be this pack right here. Right here, right now. What? <laughs> Alright, Spuds ran his luck out. That's what's happening here, ladies and gentlemen. Spuds clearly ran out his luck in the last couple pack openings. And I took that personally. We got a hit pack here for Spuds. And if it's a Rayquaza, I'm going to vomit. Alright. Oh, d <laughs> what? I don't understand this guy. I don't understand him. I, I don't understand you, Spuds. What is going on? What? Who is this man? You're insane, dude. You're you're a, you're a wizard. I don't even know what to say, man. It, it it creeps me out, to be honest. Like if I'm being honest right now, I don't, I don't I don't trust you. You know, like you're scary to me. I don't know what you've got going on, but I don't know if I like it. I do like it, but I don't know if I should. I'm scared of it. It makes me nervous. You know. That's insane. Who are you? Who are your connections? Who do you know? Why is this happening? You know? Like, I'm pretty sure if we added up Spuds' hit rates and his overall value, like, average value per hit, he's broken. You know, his stats are broken. Only got two packs here left, so let's see. I mean, no one spuds his luck. It's it's two. It doesn't even matter that it's a green code card. It's it's going to be two Rayquazas. Wishy washy. All right, here it is. Here's the Rayquaza. You ready, spuds?
Marip. It's an S beyond B. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were going to have to turn in Spuds to the authorities if he pulled anything else. You know, I mean, at that point, it would just have to be something like, you know what, it's out of our hands. And now it's in the hands of the law, you know. The people that need to know what's happening here is law enforcement, I think. So, Spuds, you're crazy. Your luck defies logic. This is, this is what Spuds does. This right here. And Pikachu's. If it's a Pikachu or an Evolution, maybe even a Snorlax you could throw in there. Get out of Spuds' way. Alright? Another code card. If I can get it out of the light. I think this is a hit pack. I saw it. I saw it as it was going into the trash. Some green and white action. Hey! Mega Sableye, Tyranitar, full art. I don't know if I I don't know if I have this Tyranitar for my collection. I've turned into a I was primarily a Charizard collector, you know, like every other basic B. But I've been kinda getting into uh been getting into the T Tars. Another hit pack. <laughs> I kid you not, guys. I am pretty sure there's a rainbow rare. Wow. Pokey Maniac. Full Art Trainer. What is going on with these Unified Minds packs? Look at that. That's a nice one. How are you and Katie doing aside from the chaos of the new house? Oh, well, you know, we're good. It's just, yeah, I mean, that when you're doing something like a full house renovation, hey, we got that Mew V Max. Beautiful card. Very, very nice. Centering isn't. Perfect, but it's not bad either. That was a beautiful card. Gotta love some Mew. Gotta love it. Card. Ten to fifteen dollar card. What's up, Yveshku? Which is still pretty awesome. Oh my Lanta. From a chandelier. That is a beautiful card. I'm not going to lie. I don't really care about that Pokemon personally. Like, at all. But man. That is a beautiful card. Come on, camera. There you go. Look at that. That was a nice one. So you got the Mew and the Full Art, dude? Alright, let's see. Where do I want to open? Have you guys seen these yet? These are super cool. I, when I first got these, I was like, alright, I'll open some of the packs. See if I get lucky. Because I did some research and there are Charizards. And I was like, we'll see, you know? And then my very first pack that I opened, I pulled the Charizard tattoo. Oh, Pikachu. Very nice. And a big old Golbat, I think. And Gold Duck. So very cool. You just use some skizzers and cut these up. You got yourself the Pokemon logo and then three Pokemon and Tattoo. Oh, Blastoise and Gengar. We even though we can forget about him. But Blastoise and Gengar, that is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So let me know, let me know, guys. Actually, this is something I've been kind of thinking about. Um, I was thinking about offering on the website maybe some uh, vintage sticker. Let's see if I can I get these in here. Vintage sticker and vintage uh, 
tattoo packs like together like a little combo pack you know where you guys can get maybe maybe let's say like two packs of tattoos and two packs of stickers or something like that the sticker packs i think have six stickers in each and the tattoos have two sheets but it's also ends up being six pokemon so is that something you guys would be interested in maybe like uh Maybe two tattoo packs and two sticker packs for like five bucks or something. I don't know. We'd have to figure out the pricing. But if that's something that you guys might be interested in, uh, let me know. I guess I can slip this into this now. There we go. We got three packs here left. I believe I still have some breakthrough packs over there. Um, again, we're going to kind of postpone our next uh, live break for now just because it's the holidays and things are crazy uh, but they will be coming back oh we got another break chestnut oh my lanta and a bridget brigette a brigadier sorry my pronunciation is terrible wow very nice full art trainer that one's sweet the background what is that supposed to be like a cityscape it almost looks like a like a circuit board or something you know that green i don't know what that's supposed to be but gorgeous looking card very nice and it was a twofer you got the break and the full art? I mean, come on. Alright, two breaks and a full art trainer. Love you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, yeah, normally this would be the time where the next streams, packs, and date uh, would already be live on the website and all that good stuff. You could secure your packs. But we are kind of postponing that for now just because it's Christmas. Uh, well, it's not Christmas. It's actually November 30th. But, you know, December is a busy time for everybody. And we've got construction going on here around the house and all that stuff anyway. So it's going to be crazy. So we're going to wait probably until sometime in January. I'll, I'll, I'll announce the, uh, the next live stream and get the packs live for you guys. And then hopefully get right back to that every two weeks schedule that you guys have gotten used to. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming by. Flynn, thanks for the super chat. Love you guys so much. And we'll see you guys on the next stream. Buh bye bye